Hello everyone, it's your boy Minato here, and I'm bringing you back with another Dokkan video. So we just had the 7th anniversary little live stream anniversary um, preview video where they kind of talked about a bunch of different things throughout it. And uh, obviously as you see on your screen, we see uh, the LR art. So if we take a look here, we have LR Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan God Vegeta. And it seems like they transform into blue goku and blue vegeta right here so along with that we see we have super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta that they fuse into super saiyan 4 gogeta so it turns out that it seems that I'm, i guess i was like half right where again the theme of the anniversary is confirmed to be goku and vegeta right so this guy is not fusing to gogeta blue this guy is um Fusing into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? So the good thing about this is, if I bring up here again, we... I feel like the thing I was pointing out is, when it comes to Gogeta Blue, I feel like at this point we need like a standalone Gogeta Blue, right? Like if we go to Gogeta here, obviously we know that we have, you know, this Gogeta Blue, this Gogeta Blue. They're already both like transformation units. To get another transformer Gogeta Blue without a standalone one would, of course, just feel very weird, right? And, you know, the difference with Gogeta is that we know Gogeta. We have standalone Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas already, right? So, it makes sense to get, like, a transforming LR version. We don't even have a transforming Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 yet. And I think these are the two better picks for the anniversary. I know everyone wanted Gogeta Blue. But I think they could save Gogeta Blue for a future, like, Gogeta Blue, Vegeta Blue celebration again. Just like the year 5 anniversary. Um, would be pretty cool, honestly. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> No matter what, these animations are going to look so exciting. And keep in mind, on the 29th, we're going to be streaming this on 5.9 Gaming. So feel free to check us out there, right? Um, Next right here, we do see the login bonus. So with the login bonus, we have rainbow tickets, normal tickets, three stones a day, stones, uh, oh, Supreme Kai, Elder Kai is right here, stuff like that. So it's a, it looks like a pretty good login bonus. Uh, and we're obviously going to get more stones for missions as well. So that's pretty generous for sure. And again, the rainbow tickets are probably going to be for both the part two and the part one banner. If you don't remember last year, we got like, we got a bunch of rainbow tickets and they're just free summons, which is very cool, right? I love these rainbow tickets on JP. Right here, this. So this is the uh, guaranteed LR free summon ticket right here. So what this is, is you get 77 characters and this year you actually do get three LRs guaranteed. So in the previous years, there's only been one LR, right? This time you get three lrs guaranteed which is huge such a massive change to this banner you have to summon on the stone version i feel like right because like there's god goku and hits there's um this exchange vegeta right here gohan and krillin are really good there's a lot of these strong support units tech piccolo oh my god amazing right like you have to summon here right and best of all in is not going to be on this banner featured so let's go no in cabe it has to be a summon right Along with that, the tickets are actually going to be only 50 tickets. You still will get 77 units, right? But it's only 50 tickets. So they made that so that because last year people apparently missed out on a lot of the tickets since they made it 66. So they wanted to make it easier, which is pretty cool. Um, Right here we have two new events. This is an event where you're going to get a Chi Chi card and then you're going to get a Vegeta card here. And it's not this one, but this right here. These are the arts right here, right? This is going to be a Chi Chi and a Vegeta. I'm presuming both of these obviously are going to TUR into, again, another Vegeta and Boma. And then uh, it'll be a, Goku, a Chi Chi and Goku card, right? Um, for the Goku and Vegeta family categories, respectively. Maybe they become support units for that team. That would just make a lot of sense to me, right? But yeah, these are the units here. Um, and these are the arts. So we're at Policy Museum. This is a free-to-play Gohan right here. So there's this event right here where we see... Uh, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. This is going to be where you could get a uh, Gohan right here. A uh, Gohan team unit. And it seems he is riding the bike right from the opening. I feel like there's multiple... So we know this guy's actually going to awaken into an LR, right? Uh, let me see right here. Yeah. Okay. This guy's going to awaken into an LR unit. Uh, we, we That's confirmed in the live stream. Uh, Goresh said confirm that. So with this guy being an LR unit, I feel like there's two different options. Well, there's three different options. One, you could... For two of them, they get to stay as Gohan. We're getting either like a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the World Tournament. He can go Ultimate Gohan. Or it could be some sort of Gohan, Goten, and Trunks card. Um, I mean, there's a new arts for Goten and Trunks as well, right? 
So I'm presuming they're going to be in there somewhere. Maybe as a unit super attack or something. But uh, we know for sure it's going to be based off Gohan for the most part, right? We'll see when they drop in game, right? Like the categories and stuff like that. Um, we should be able to see that in the initial data download. Not what, no, not the initial download. The actual data download. Uh, the initial data download will come later, right? But yeah, that's what this is coming here. Uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and just a free-to-play LR. Presuming he's getting all the way easy and stuff like that. Just like we saw for the... Um, what's it called? We saw for the Roshi and the Goku Black. So this right here. This is a new event. This is a uh, red light or something like that among those lines. Uh, so this is essentially a red zone or something like that, right? This is a new event that was teased in V-Jump, if you guys remember correctly. Uh, it was the new difficult event that they state was going to be on par with like Extreme Super Battle Road. I'm presuming it's going to be similar to the God event based off right here. I actually want to text something. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So there's seven on each of these side, right? I'm presuming it's going to be like seven stages, uh, seven different stages. So it could be like the God event, right? And it's going to be against GT bosses and then movies. Uh, obviously, that's to, just to form with the theme of GT right here and then movies, right? That's what they state is the other theme. Besides the Goku and Vegeta, just really movies and GT, um, which is cool, right? Uh, so I'm very excited to see how this is going to turn out. Maybe it won't be like the God event. Maybe it'll be like something different, but... This is essentially what's going to happen there. Um, I'm really expecting something cool from this. Again, I, I just love difficult content. I'm sure you guys know I do like a bunch of like challenge run and stuff like that on the channel. But yeah. And then right here, finally, we do have uh, Goku and Vegeta skill orb event. So with this event right here, uh, you can take two different paths. You can go either down the path of Goku or you can go down the path of Vegeta. And you get skill orbs for each of them, right? So, essentially with that, uh, you're able to get, like, you know, crits, additionals. And do you know that these are actually LR, uh, not LR. These are actually um, EX skill orbs. So, since these are EX skill orbs, you're able to use these permanently uh, whenever you want. So, that's really cool, right? You could just uh, swap them back and forth between each unit. But yeah, that's pretty much it here. Again, we see Gogeta 4, uh, Super Saiyan, Blue Goku, and Vegeta that they transform. Dude, these guys' animations are going to look so clean. This guy too. Oh, dude, this, I am so excited. I'm just going to be here all night just staying up, just thinking about how I much I want these units. Again, we're going to be on the 5-9 stream. Um, we're going to be, uh, you know, I, I know that we're going to be watching the live stream. The banner should drop after then. So I know like Truth, Sunblade, uh, you know, Nolar, they're all going to be summoning there. I'll be there as well, so feel free to check us out. But thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.